Unique CFM training from Inspiration Healthcare. Record and review. To start recording a new patient, click on the New Patient button. The minimum information required is the patient identification number. Enter the patient details. Click OK to begin. Select the patient from the drop down list and click OK. Initially, you will enter a preview mode. Here you can adjust the layout and carry out an impedance check to ensure your electrodes have good contact with the patient. To adjust the EEG and AEEG scales, you can use the scroll keys on the left hand side of the screen. You can switch between CSA, compressed spectral array, and DSA, density spectral array, or you can switch it off altogether. To run the impedance check, click on the IMP button. Impedance is a direct measure of the connectivity between the patient and the monitor via the electrodes. Low impedance means there is good contact. High impedance means there is poor contact. The traffic light system will advise you of the impedance range for the electrodes and also your ground electrode. Green indicates good impedance, red indicates poor impedance. To stop the impedance check, click IMP button at any time. If you are happy with the on-screen layout in preview, you can start recording by clicking the record button. You can clearly see when you are in the record mode, as it is stated in the top left hand corner of the screen. The menu bar at the top shows you which channels you are recording. Date and time is clearly displayed on screen. A green connection shows you are paired correctly with the amplifier. To adjust the EEG and AEEG scales, you can use the scroll keys on the left hand side. Markers can be used to draw attention to unusual events, such as suspected seizures or events that have happened and may cause the AEEG trace to change. There are three different ways to mark the AEEG. The first way is to click the text marker and then free type in the description. The user can also enter a predefined marker which is easy to do and can save time. The predefined markers can be set up using the link on the desktop or in the C drive. To enter, select the description you need and press OK. The third and final way is to click the marker button, which will just drop in a marker with no description. You can add a description to it later. To view the other parameters activated in the setup menu, click on F2. You can add them to the screen by checking the box. You can also remove them by unchecking the box. Click on information to see the numerical data. You can click on CSA stroke DSA to switch between compressed and density spectral array. If the impedance or amplitude threshold is breached, then there will be a visible and audible alarm. The thresholds of these can be set in the setup menu. To silence the alarm, you click the alarm on off button in the bottom left hand corner. Once the problem is rectified and the AEEG or impedance falls below the alarm threshold, then the alarm will stop. The user can view the trace while still recording the patient data. Click on the magnifying glass to go into the review mode. You can scroll through the EEG, AEEG and spectral array using the page buttons on the left panel or by using the scroll bar at the bottom. To review markers, click on the marker button. You can view the date and time of the marker was placed. Click on the marker description to be taken to that point of the trace. You can highlight the lower margin of the trace by clicking F5. Click on F6 to view the average trace. You can change the recording layout to review different channels by clicking on the drop down menu at the top of the screen. Click on bipolar CH1 and CH2 to view the left and right AEEG and EEG. Click on unipolar to view the unipolar AEEG i.e. cross cerebral, and the left and right EEG. To view the other parameters activated in the setup menu, click on F2. To create an online report, click on the WordPad icon on the bottom right hand side to open the report. Right click on the AEEG, EEG or spectral array to copy the trace. On a touchscreen monitor, hold on the trace for a couple of seconds. This is equivalent of right clicking on a mouse. Paste it into the report and type up the patient notes. 
You can then save the document directly to the network, send it to a printer, or save it on the computer hard drive to be reviewed later. Click Save to save in the desired location. To end review and continue recording, press Quit. To start recording under an existing patient, click on the Record button on the masked screen. Select your patient from the list and click OK. Initially you will enter a preview mode. Here you can adjust the layout and carry out impedance checks to ensure the electrodes have good contact with the patient. When you are ready to record, click on the record button. You will then be recording data. The user can review a trace through the master screen. Click on the review button. Select the patient data you wish to view. Click OK to be taken into the recording. If you are using video, you will also be able to review this through the master screen. If you have any questions following the training, please contact Inspiration Healthcare on plus four four one four five five eight four zero five 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 or email info at inspiration-healthcare.com.